okay, Starbucks. It's cute or whatever. <laughs> Gems, it's your girl, Mima, and we are back at it again with another vlog. So we have a full work day ahead of us. Um, I'm getting ready to go take some pictures, and then I have some short form content planned, um, like little reels and stuff and shorts, and then I have to film two hauls tonight, and that is a lot for me to do in one day. I already edited a vlog, created the teachers more. Like, when I tell y'all, I'm already done, but I have to push through. <laughs> I wanna make sure that when I'm out of town, I still have content to post for y'all. Now, my first inclination was to say, oh, it's okay. I'll just, you know, post less over the next couple of weeks, but I'm really trying to avoid doing that. Um, I have some really exciting stuff that I want y'all to see, you know? So, I had an energy drink. One of the shoots I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it at Starbucks so I can pick up a drink. <laughs> and we're gonna keep it pushing, baby. And that's just that on that, okay? Um, so let me start with my face real quickity quick quick. Yeah. I've been really enjoying this primer combination. This is the NYX Plump Right Back Primer as my base. And then I've been going in the T-zone with the one size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. And I put this just in my T-zone um, in the center of my face where I'm oiliest. Nothing keeps me matte all day. If I can get a good solid two, three hours, honestly, I don't think I get that either. <laughs> um, I feel like I can get that if I blot like 30 minutes after my face, then I can get 
like two hours, two, three hours. And that is great for me. <laughs> because one thing about it, no matter what I use, the oils will seep through, okay? Um, but yeah, some combinations work better than others. And this is definitely top two for sure. My other favorite combo is the LYS Secure Grip um, combined with the YSL. Um, I don't know where that's at, but they have like a mattifying type thingy. And both of those have like uh, salicylic acid in it, I think. This one also has niacinamide. Um, and I just replaced this so I have a backup on this one but yeah I started using this one just because I was like oh I'm just doing content like I'm not going out or anything and I was like wait I kind of actually like this so it's good to have a nice little backup um on the days like if I'm running behind on other products or I can't find something like right now I have no idea where I, where I sell one is but I'll press around here somewhere child but yeah anyway throw that into the skin honey the skin but yeah i'm gonna take one photo off by the starbucks uh because i want to have like a starbucks cup in the in the photo and i'm i'm actually really looking forward to it i want a hot drink it's not cold outside these in the 60s um a lot of, what's the temperature Right now, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Tonight, expect a low of 50 degrees. Like, it's not cold, but I've been wanting like a cute little hot drink. And I want like a real drink, like a caramel macchiato. I'm gonna show you guys after, but this outfit is actually by Amber Crabby and Fitch. When I tell you I'm obsessed, like, I think Amber Crabby might be my new fave. Oh, they just, ugh. Oh. They're, they're just doing what they need to do. They're doing what they need to do. And I love that. Okay. So, yeah. Let's throw on. Ooh. The urge to push these sleeves up. But, no. I need to leave this outfit intact for the picture. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to throw on a quick face. And we will keep it moving. Yeah. Be right, something's in the air, I can feel it now. You'll be 
So the first look is ready. I have a pile of like my different outfits for the rest of the shoot, but this is number one. Y'all, my living room looks crazy. Now that I'm basically filming out here, like goodbye cute living room, goodbye cute aesthetics, like that's dead now. <laughs> but. This is the Abercrombie set. It's ultra high rise, which I thought would fit me normally, but it's like actually for real ultra high rise, which I love. That lets me know in the future that I don't need ultra, that the actual high rise would be good enough, which is a very rare thing for me, especially from a brand like, that I, in my mind, does not cater to the curvy, you know? So appreciate that, honey. Appreciate that. Light jewelry. Um, keeping it simple and yeah I'm gonna throw my black harachis and that's just gonna be that so let me go take these pics gang gang <laughs> so I'm at Starbucks and they have an iced gingerbread oat milk chai um excuse me I need that but I also want a caramel macchiato or caramel brulee latte so many options hi morgan um may i please have a grande iced gingerbread oat milk chai with oh oat milk okay yeah grande iced gingerbread oat milk chai got it um yes can i also have a grande Ooh, white chocolate mocha can you make that with oat milk as well uh, white chocolate milk? Yes. What size is that one? Grande. And you said you have a Did you still want the whipped cream? Yes, please. You got it. And is that going to be hot or iced? Hot, please. You got it. What else can I get you? Uh, I have a question. Sure thing. So, I usually get the shaken espressos. If I wanted that hot, would that just be a latte? Yeah, pretty much, yes. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I think we're we're good. Have you tried the caramel brulee latte? Yeah, it's very sweet. It's very delicious. It's our, our most popular currently. Oh, is it? You think it's better than a white chocolate mocha? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, well, we're gonna do a, a switcheroo. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, but with oat milk, please. Oat milk. Mm -hmm. So, we're, are we taking one drink? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're taking out the white chocolate mocha. Taking off the white chocolate mocha and we are changing that to a caramel brulee latte. Yes, please. Oh, no. mm -hmm. It does still come with whipped cream. Are you all right with that? Yes, please. Do you guys have the, the spinach feta egg wrap? Yes, we do. Okay. I think. Anything else I can do for you today? Uh, that's it, please. Alrighty. Your total is going to be twenty nine fifty two. I will see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I always want to do too much, but um, I am going to come back and try that white chocolate mocha, but I do want to try the other seasonal drink, the caramel brulee. I feel like, they, did they have that last year? Why do I feel like I tried that already? And I, was, I wasn't like super impressed. Well, either way, we're going to try. Oh, she did feel super sweet. Ooh, I should have told her to do less pumps. Anyways, we're here. We're excited. Can't wait to try these drinks. <laughs> because in typical greedy Jamima fashion, I had to get two. And I'm glad that they had the spinach and feta wraps in, in stock. Because the last time I tried to get one, they didn't have any. But it's so good. It's so good. Should I be having dairy? No. Am I going to regret it later? Yes. Am I still going to enjoy it? Absolutely. Okay, period. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one.
Oh, we're taking one more drink. Okay. One more drink. Uh, the iced chai. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I have two straws, please? Thank you. This is the. This is the pumpkin, iced pumpkin, gingerbread, something or other. Very sweet, but good. Mm. They didn't have any sriracha. Boo. Trying the caramel brulee latte. Hope there's oat milk. Mm. Okay, Starbucks. It's cute or whatever. <laughs> I see why this is popular. Yeah. Mm. Yum. So I am back from taking pictures. And baby, they eat. So right now I'm trying to clean up. I have some laundry I dropped off here. My Sephora items for the Sephora haul. That never happened. And quite frankly, I'm just like, uh, I feel like y'all might be Sephora out at this point. Um, oh, I wanted a place. No, Chuma, you have enough. If you don't order it, that's, that's, it's fine. Life will move on. Um, so I wanted the, the Jizu lip oil because my Tony Moly Honey lip balm, I can't find it. Well, I just looked on Amazon. I didn't look anywhere else. So maybe it's not that I can't find it. It's that I didn't look hard enough. Anyways, I'm getting ready to film a whole bunch of TikToks, so I need to prepare and also put this laundry away, so we can do that real quickly, quick, 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 okay? I need to um, go for my iPad so I can play some YouTube or Netflix or something, child, because I'm bored. Is I still don't post exactly everything that I, that I do post on um guys so um i'm about to start recording y'all it's already it's 709 i haven't even started the second task yet i should already be getting i should be on task three there's four number four is packing but anyways before i start filming um I have to like clear off my desk and stuff 
and I've also kind of like not packing but started like setting aside makeup that I might want to take I'm gonna keep it pretty light I'm going to a warm tropical place and I tend to keep my makeup light when I am in such places so um I figured why not unbox my Sephora things with y'all <laughs> didn't I just say y'all was probably Sephora out and here I go um I made a notorium order um I decided to try the cleanser it has niacinamide hyaluronic acid and vitamin c and it's a gel cleanser which whoa which is usually what i go to because i do have combination oily skin oh not the cap coming off child hold on oh okay but yeah there's that um i got the vitamin c complex serum um I might actually, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep my, my suitcase as light as possible. I was considering putting this in my, my travel um, cosmetics and toiletries, but I'll just, I'll play with these when I get back. Actually, yeah, let me not even start unboxing everything right here. But I placed this order because I essentially wanted to try, oh, I also got their Dew Glow Moisturizer, SPF 50. I've heard great things about this. And anything with the zoo on it, zooey, zooey luminous skin for winter, sign me up for sure. Um, because yeah, my skin gets dry on like the size. Um, but yeah, I basically wanted to order their lip balms. They're a dupe. They're supposed to be a dupe for the Summer Friday lip balms, I think. So when the owner, oh, I forgot her name mixed makeup something but basically she started on youtube they started her own brand and she had videos of her trying on the, the lip glosses the lip balms but i have pigmented lips and they're on the darker side and hers are like pinkish so when you have lighter colored lips i feel like shades tend to show up more so i'm not sure if these are gonna do anything for me but like imagine how upsetting if i bought all these different shades and they all look clear on me I just need a tint, honey. Just give me a little tint. Oh, oh, this is red, red. Okay. Oh. Do y'all see that? I don't think we have to worry. I don't think we have to worry. Move y'all a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Notorium. Mind you, I am a Summer Fridays stand but if you can get something at a fraction of the cost and it's still giving you color and hydration then y'all know me i'm gonna get both but if you're trying to save a little coin honey it's giving notoria might be the way to go oh okay i'm gonna try three colors the one i just tried right now is a shade um lychee has no taste is a little on the thicker side it's not a thick balm but it's definitely not thin so it's on the thicker side <laughs> i like it it's not sticky but you do feel that it adheres to the lips like i i like this y'all a little bit of color nothing too crazy but keep in mind if you are lighter in the lips um it's gonna show more but Ooh, hold on, hold on. Okay. So we tried something in the red family. Let's try something in the brown family. This is the shade Spice. Okay. I feel like these browns look similar to my lip color, so they won't stand out as much. I I am not mad at these formulas. Wait a minute. Of course, I have to wear it over time to see if it develops like that white line, which I detest. So that'll be the true test. Okay, now we have Camellia. Let's see if this is like actually pinky. 
Dang, we didn't get to the Sephora yet. Hold on. Okay, yeah. She has no tint. Like I said, it doesn't really show too, too much on my lip color, but yeah. These have a cute little tint to them. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's try one more. Mm. I'm gonna try mocha to see, since the brown one was still in my skin color, let's see if mocha will appear darker. Mm. Mocha gives warm chocolate. It comes, mm, I feel like my lips are a little chocolatier. It gives like milk chocolate. Not like the dark chocolate I thought it would give, but she's still really cute. Okay, Natoria. Oh, yeah, definitely give these a thought if you are consider trying something out in the lip balm department. Um, this is the shade Hibiscus. This is the one I'm gonna wear. And also test out at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, oh, she queefed. Oh, why is it looking clear? Oh, that's disappointing. Is it supposed to be clear like this? Oh, this is clear, clear. You know, somebody had that complaint that one of the colors came clear. Yeah, I think that might be a faulty one. Cause I, I, I feel like it was supposed to be like super pigmented. And that, that was like clear, like bro, look at that. You can't even see it. And this bright of a color, no. Something's off with that. Something is definitely off. Okay, plum. Let's see, plum is clear. Don't play me now. Yeah, plum has a little color to it. Yeah, okay, you see? Okay, yeah, something's off with hibiscus. Okay, anyways, let's get into this video. Okay, so I got the holiday set of the beauty blenders. Um, way better than last year's. Last year's was trash. So glad I did fix that. So these are actually good beauty blenders. I got two of these. I picked up the It Confidence, um, Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Cream. You guys have heard me talk about the It Confidence Cream. This is apparently the nighttime version that I'm excited to try out and see if it like gives me some extra zhuzh at night. We finna find out. Okay, period. Oh, period. Ugh. We have the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I think this is a shade. Yeah. That's part of a gift that, shh. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I ordered this on a whim just because I wanted to see what it was given, honey. Um, see if it would be like a really pretty highlighter situation. Um, yeah, we shall see. I ordered another K. Ali Vanilla 28 perfume because as you can see, like she's done. She's done though. So I definitely need to re-up on that. I ordered more of my Tatcha face washes because I swear by them up and down, honey. I swear by these face washes. Like my favorite face washes of all time. This is what it looks like. Boom. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Mini Lip Trio. I actually don't remember picking this up. I don't know if it was a gift or if I actually paid for this. Child, either way, it's my bag. Maybe I didn't pick it up. I don't know. But Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are actually pretty good. So this is a really cute set to pick up. Um, I picked up the Fenty Holographic Lip Gloss. I wanted this ever since the um, YouTube holiday shopping situation I went to in LA. Because that's when I first saw it. Hold on. Because I know I said I was going to wear the... the the lip balm, but I, I have to wear this holographic gloss. Like, I just have to. Oof. I don't think the light is doing it justice, honey. Ooh. Do y'all see what this gloss is doing? Like, mmm. I feel like probably like 
or on top of like a beigey nude lipstick man that is going to be beautiful beautiful next i picked up the Too faced born this way the natural nudes like it's just such a beautiful nude palette like look at those sparkles so pretty yum i can't wait to try this out Ooh, this glistening snow shade Ooh. oh i can't wait to play with this i'm gonna put this right here yeah i'm playing with that as soon as i get back a video coming soon <laughs> I also picked up the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat. I have the Gloss Balm, but I don't have any of the heat ones. So I guess these are plumping. Let's add a little bit on top. <laughs> Y'all see that? Oh, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, let's not do that again. I also picked up the Lancome Juicy Tubes just because I've heard great things about this. I actually had a friend that loved this way back in the day. Actually, Jenny. Y'all how y'all have seen Jenny on my channel. But um, yeah, and I figured I'm on my Lancome kit right now. So why not pick this up and see what it's given? I believe it was during the last Sephora sale. I purchased the like small travel size version of this. And I actually really like this. I feel like every once in a while, I just want a physical exfoliant. Um, something that's not too crazy, but to do a little something, something. And I think this is physical and chemical. But I just really like how my skin feels afterwards. And then I know that I do all the work in the shower. And when I get out, I just need to hydrate moisturize and get in the bed so i like these for like my lazy days when i still want to do a little something something and it smells good and it's refreshing and overall your skin feels amazing after using this i picked up the charlotte tilbury moisture matte meets moisture liquid lipstick it's basically a soft matte um it, like a cream almost uh i tried another shade i worked it I went the other day, but anyways, this is the other shade that I got. I'm a little scared of this formula, honestly. I feel like it might get on my teeth, but I figured it was worth a try, especially because of this color. Like, it's so pretty and vibrant, but we're going to see. Because I feel like a color like that maybe should be all the way matte, but we'll see. Of course, I told y'all about the oil set, the mini oils. I definitely had to re-up on these because I'd be going through them like nobody's business. Still glad I got my hands on this one, though, but now I know that for the next year year and a half maybe even two your girl gonna have oil to travel with period did i also get the kaoli in the little mini travel set yeah because now i need one to stay in my bag because the way i was going through that perfume is crazy so now i have one to stay here and one for my travel bag and that's usually how i like it my favorites usually just stay in my suitcase um, I bought some new skincare goodies. This Dr. Jart sunscreen. I've never tried it before, but Nay raves about this. And so if Nay is going to recommend it, oh, I'm, I'm trying it. Have y'all seen her skin? Flawless, okay? Uh, so yeah, she said this is her favorite sunscreen of all time. So even though y'all know I swear by my super goop, I'm always willing to try something else. So I said, let me give her a whirl. Next, I have the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. And I just wanted to try a new hyaluronic serum. Honestly, I feel like it's, it's nothing all that special. Um, but it had really good reviews. And I wanted something in case I just wanted pure hyaluronic acid, nothing else. If I want to layer on top of something, I have one from Inky List and it's okay. Um, yeah, she's okay. So I'm gonna try this one out. And if I don't like this or if I feel like it's nothing special, I'm just gonna go back to L'Oreal one. Cause I feel like I, I like the L'Oreal hyaluronic acid. L'Oreal actually makes really good like drugstore serums. Anyways, moving on. For skincare, I hopped on the Paula's Choice. I definitely wanted to try out a new retinol since the Dr. Dennis Gross retinol pads don't work for me. Um, and I also got the vitamin C serum. Um, just for the days when I add a little something in my skincare during the daytime. Because um, as of right now, I'm just using my clearance. So adding this and then using my clearance on top of that, I feel like it's going to make my skin look exceptional. Y'all, one thing about it, I am fancy buttered out, okay? Like, they're not going to catch me slipping again. Because the way I was so mad I didn't stock up last time, they're not going to catch me slipping again. Know that. Know that. Um, I bought the mini lip butter balm sets from Summer Friday um, because, well, for no good reason. Um, but I do like that they're small and can fit in smaller purses. 
um and they're great for on the go so i got that it was cute I, mm. now i have seen this all over social media fresh has been working with all the girls the girls are getting to the bag and they're showing before and after and i said oh i have to try that it's the fresh lotus youth preserve resurfacing dream serum it says it gently exfoliates and boosts radiance and yeah the the skin that everyone is showing like the improvements beautiful beautiful i have to try it i have to try it and it's a beautiful bottle oh my gosh i feel like i so rarely see like navy bottles like this oh okay fresh i've only tried their like their toner i wasn't a fan of their toner i know everyone loves it it's like a cult favorite um it irritated my skin so i'm hoping that that is not gonna do the same thing but the way everyone's skin was looking amazing in their campaigns like oh i had to try it I had to try it all right y'all so i'm getting ready to start recording we're gonna do a cute lip i think i'm gonna toss on one of the old charlotte tilbury lipsticks this is the Refi Lip Liner in Sepia, I believe. Just adding a little color. But, your girl's on her zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> this is so cute, like perfect to put under the tree. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the lips look juicy. Oh, love that. Love that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it started. So you guys know how I'm always joking about the camera recording in slow-mo? Why did I spend the next, like, six hours that night recording in slow-mo? All of a sudden, it's not so funny. All of a sudden, it's not a key. All of a sudden, I'm gonna throw my laptop out the window. Don't do that, girl. Ain't no laptop. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's thing in the video. Period. Cause I'm on vacay right now, <laughs> trying to edit this video, and I'm like, yo, where's the footage? Real life of a vlogger. Right? Okay. So basically, I was showing y'all the behind the scenes of me recording TikTok and stuff. Um, these are actually pieces from Walmart that I was styling. Man, I just knew this video. This I was gonna eat it up. I just, I just knew I was gonna eat. Yeah, the stress, the stress of this video, and I feel like this whole thing being a slow mo is is just proof of what I was going through that day. Um, on a positive note, ain't this outfit cute? <laughs> Yeah, make sure you follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. And make sure you have notifications on on YouTube. Um, because I'm, I'm spilling tea on the looks, honey. Now, I came out and this is when I was about to start filming the full-blown hauls. Y'all, by this time, I think it was like midnight or something. I couldn't. I couldn't. Y'all, I didn't put my robe on. I reapplied my gloss. I looked at that pile of clothes and I said, oh no, I can't. I can't but I look cute though but yeah this is when I was about to break down <laughs> so unfortunately I was not able to film the hauls that I had planned um yeah right here's when I was like oh no <laughs> but um it's okay though because I did get to unbox my new Bay's suitcases and I'm happy that they came right in time for me to try them out for this trip so I can see if they're worth the coin. Because an unboxing is cute, but will they last? Okay, is it worth the coin? And honey, they're going to charge you some coins. Now, I managed to get like a bundle discount plus a coupon code, and it was still expensive, okay? Um, it is pretty neat. It has like little gadgets and like compartments and like nifty things that kind of makes it cool, but child time will tell if it's worth the coin anyways yeah so i was starting to pack here shout out to these luggage racks because i tell you they're a lifesaver also i also want to uh pat myself on the back because i packed in a medium-sized suitcase and it was 50 pounds when was the last time i did that somebody quickly tell me because my my suitcase is always extra large and oversized okay they also got that big old heavy tag on my suitcase like you my business 
Anyway, child, I basically pulled out all my favorite dresses. I didn't pack. I didn't plan. I did nothing for this trip. I just said, I, the easiest thing for me to throw on is a dress. So, I have a suitcase full of dresses. You know. Every dress you see me wear this summer, they're in the suitcase, period. So, once I'm done with the dresses, I roll them up and put them in my suitcase. Then, I had to refill some of, like, the, the toiletries that were in my travel kit. Like, my body wash and my facial cleansing oil. Um, things like that so I can make sure I had enough to last me for the entire trip but that's pretty much it for the video y'all like the struggle was very real even at this point I was still packing I think and that's when I realized like I wasn't gonna get any sleep it was two in the morning something like that child I said oh and I have to be out of here at five like there's no sleep no rest for the week child but I hope y'all enjoyed this struggle AF video um this is real life and I'll see y'all on the next one Toodles. <laughs>